everyone and welcome to the last episode in our Shooter AI tutorial series. In this series we've covered everything from getting the AI to chase you, shooting at you and even finding cover from you. And the last time we managed to get them to talk to each other and tell, uh, tell them where their target is. In this episode we're going to end, thing, end things off with you being able to shoot at them and kill them. So this actually is going to be a lot of copy and paste stuff um, and same sort of learnings from my damage dealing at range uh, video. So if you haven't checked that video out, check it out. Uh, a lot of this is covered in a lot more detail there as I'll be going through it out of pace to get to the parts we need to get to. So without further ado, let's begin. So my gun in this type of game is a hit scan gun, meaning that it's sending out a line trace out to detect whether or not the bullets are hitting anything. So what I want to do is tell it now to when those bullets hit something to deal damage to it if it can receive damage. So to do that I need to open up my gun and based on what how you've set yours up uh, you just need to find the part where you've got your line trace which is handling the direction of the bullets. And from there we get one called out hit hit actor. The hit actor is the thing that is hitting. So from there drag this out and type in can be damaged and you'll see a variable a boolean called get can be damaged choose this now if it can be damaged we want to tell it to receive damage so i'm going to put this afterwards after the spawn emitter and from there i'm going to damage oh so put into a branch like so and so if it's true we want to damage that actor so damage this actor here and drag it out and we want to damage apply damage hit true and there you go now we have to enter how much damage you're going to deal so i'm going to deal a damage of 0 0.2 and i'm going to leave the rest of it as blank Click compile. Yeah, so now we've got them uh, receiving the damage, we now need to make them react to the damage. So, fortunately, the anim starter pack comes with four hit reacts. Um, we're going to right click on the first one and create a new anim montage. And I'll call that one hit react underscore montage. Now, open up your enemy actor and type in the word damage, and you'll see event any damage. So when that apply damage uh, function is called, this will trigger allowing us to do whatever we want to it. So here I'm going to, first of all, play that animation. So drag your mesh out from the component list. And then from there, we're gonna go play montage. Bug it in and choose the montage we just made, the hit react montage from the dropdown. Click compile, go back to your montage, open it up. And we'll make sure that we're using the upper body uh, slot. So the upper body slot means that it only affects the top half of the uh, of the mesh, so the legs will still work. So you can run around still while getting hit. Right, we're going to close that and push play. And now when I shoot him, you can see him getting hit. Yeah. And there you go. So once we've got that, we now need to be able to kill them. So in your enemy, <clears throat> in your enemy actor, the any damage has got that damage float coming out of it, which we added onto our gun when we've done our line trace with the applied damage. We put in 0 0.2. So with this damage here, we're going to take away some health, and when its health is over, we're going to take it to die. So I'm going to go into the variables, add a new variable, type in health. Change that from a boolean to a float, and then from there, um, let's put it at the front here. We're going to put in our health, which is get minus the damage that we are sending over across, and then setting it back into the health, like so. So now, when we die. Or to do dying, we're going to first of all check if this health here is below zero or is zero. 
If it is, we're going to map that to die and not react to the hit. So from here, do less than or equal to zero into a branch. So on the true, we're going to do the ragdoll effect. So we're going to go into drag our mesh, component out, tell it to set the simulate physics and hook that up and tick the box. And then we need to change our mesh collision type. So go to mesh, change its collision preset from character mesh to ragdoll. So that when we take it to simulate physics, it will slump to the floor like a ragdoll. Uh, the last thing we need to do here is go to our health variable and set its default value to one. Click compile and let's go into our game. So now if I shoot them enough times, they'll flop to the floor and die. You'll notice that when they die, their gun will still shoot. That's because that timer is still going on. Okay, they're still technically alive. Um, they just stump to the floor. So what we need to do is tell it the whole of the um, code that we are now dead and therefore can't do nothing. So on your enemy, so to do that, we need to get the AI controller. We now need to get the brain component and tell it to, I think it's stop logic, yeah. And with that, when you go to uh, get AI logic, just put in self, so it deletes its own brain. And we'll click play, kill the enemies, and down they go. And now stop shooting. Okay, so they go dumb. Okay, that'll do it for this episode. Um, we've done all the components now to create a shooter AI. I know I said this would be the last one, but I'll probably do one more after this, and that is putting all these components together. Um, we ran out of time. I thought we had a bit more time, but we don't. So we'll make one more video, putting all these components together and tidying things up uh, to get our AI working as we want. Thanks very much for watching this series. If you want to watch the ep next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you can donate just $1 and access that video straight away. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please put them in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for everyone who's supported me thus far, and I uh, yeah, can't be thanking you enough. Thank you so much for that support, and uh, we're getting one step closer for me doing this full time, so thanks very much. And that'll do it for today, so thanks very much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.